Bueno, aquí estamos en Petit Le Mans, Road Atlanta, última carrera del año y con ganas, con ganas de acabar el campeonato que ha sido, se nos ha hecho bastante largo, pero bueno, parece que si todo va bien lo ganaremos el campeonato, que eso es lo que, lo que vale, eh, un evento muy grande, cuantos espectadores, las, la cantidad de gente que viene por parte de Corvette es bastante grande, entonces la convierte junto con Sebring una de las carreras más importantes para nosotros, entonces a ver si podemos ganar el campeonato de constructores también, que yo creo que es el objetivo principal. Esta carrera es muy importante para nosotros, eh, en el campeonato de Endurance estamos eh, en primero, eh, yo creo que será una disputa muy intensa con eh, el grupo de, del coche número 10, es una carrera de 10 horas acá, es muy difícil esta pista físicamente y, y también tenemos para este weekend como 39 autos, entonces durante la carrera el, el tráfico será muy intenso, pero nosotros esperamos hacer el nuestro mejor y yo espero que con el nuestro mejor podemos conquistar el cuarto campeonato de, de uh, endurance en esta categoría. For me, it's a dream, something fantastic, because uh, it's uh, the second time here in uh, Rod Atlanta for me. The first time was two years ago, but it was really rain, and uh, the guys, the team, my teammates, uh, get me the opportunity yesterday to do some laps. They gave me this uh, gift to have a qualify, uh, qualification. Honestly, I didn't expect to do the pole position. I did just my best, but with this team and this amazing car, I cannot do something different. Uh, it's something that uh, we really want because tomorrow is long race, 10 hours, but we are fighting for the NAEC and uh, for sure, uh, okay, the pole position doesn't count too much on the on the 10 hour race, but it's better to stand in front than in the end. It was tricky out there. There was different uh, classes, different categories racing before our qualifying session. So the track condition, we knew that's going to change. Uh, but in the end, it's the same for everybody. So we tried to little bit think about the quality in a way that we had to change a few things on the setup where we thought that the track is going to go. So it worked out really well. I was probably pushing a little bit too much. So if I would have calmed calm myself down a bit more, it would have been an even better lap. But really happy for the whole crew, my teammates, everybody. So far it's been great, so looking forward to the tomorrow's race. But we have a good read on the car in the practice, especially in the night practice. Yesterday we were really fast, so we are confident about the race. Uh, so basically, once again, we had some pretty, uh, pretty open track. There was only three of us out there, so I was able to find a nice gap, as you can imagine, in traffic, and uh, just kind of focus on the car and focus on clean laps. Uh, we were kind of struggling with the setup in the beginning of the weekend. We had some rear and stability issues, so uh, luckily, uh, going into yesterday's night practice, we kind of got that all sorted out and got the car a lot more comfortable to drive, so I was able to attack and push and uh, put in some good laps. I mean, it, it's kind of one of those situations where we, we don't really have anything to lose, just kind of get to go out and enjoy ourselves and uh, just run clean laps, stay out of everyone's way, including our own, and uh, just try to make the clean sweep. We got, we got seven wins, just need to add one more to, to make it a clean sweep, so I think, uh, I think we'll have a good chance for it tomorrow. 
So, yeah, I just can't thank anybody, everybody on the team enough. Uh, you know, they've given us a great car all year. It's been just seriously enjoyable nonstop. So, yeah, thanks to them and uh, looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, what a great team effort. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Roger for this amazing opportunity uh, and the entire organization because, um, you know, not many people know, a week ago we had a big shunt here and um, basically the program was, was in jeopardy. The tub was, uh, was gone and so Orica with Team Penske um, were able to put this, this program like in literally days and uh, for us to start in pole position right now means a lot. I want to thank obviously the engineer Jonathan and uh, Raul. I mean, those guys jumping board at this program like not even thinking, and, uh, and my teammates, they really helped me, uh, Juan Pablo and uh, Simon, to coach me, especially when you're a little bit uncomfortable, you know, because of a big crash like that. Um, they were able to uh, make everything right. So I'm, I'm really excited. This is going to be awesome, and um, can't wait for tomorrow. Well, of course, right now, well, we're just learning a lot. We got, we got to go through the driver changer first. First, we're having a little bit of issues there, but uh, in the end of the day, we, uh, we're excited to be in this program. Bueno, yo estoy contento con esta, con esta clasificación, obviamente no importa dónde parte, pero, pero por lo que pasamos a unas semanas atrás, uh, por ter destruido el carro, eh, realmente eh, eh, es un éxito muy increíble, pero oh, en la carrera vamos a estar preparados para lo mejor.